the formidable robot. Yet another instance of a Tales from Robotronical episode releasing. It was released on the video site, Vidurus, which was the website for pirated episodes of old cartoons and movies. Think this cartoon. The episode's release was on January 14, 2022, just before the first episode aired, which backfired the scheduling way harder than normal. Titmouse LLC, the studio behind the Venture Brothers and the recent Tales from the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles series, was planned to be the animators for the special, but was dropped, replaced by an indie studio, Tech Nexus, in Louisville, Kentucky. Mmm, I would love to eat some Kentucky Fried Chicken. The episode would start on a Terminator-style opening before going into a quick previously section on the events before. Then it shows the episode name, Wasteland Wonderland. It continued with the cyborgs staring and wondering at Xenia. PC looked gobsmacked, C-12 looked horrified and even gulped loudly, loud enough to fuck with your ears, and T-999 was pissed. Where did the city go? T-999 asked sternly. I think the city Wanna run by that again? T-999 said, aiming his laser pistol at C-12. Oh, that's not bad, I only pointed out this. C-12 said. C-12 is right. Xenia looked like it was evacuated moments before we arrived. PC said to T-999. T-999 set down his pistol and let out a sigh. Let's say C-12 is right. Where the hell are the survivors? T-999 said, motioning around the wasteland. I may have a theory. PC started. He opened his chest piece and revealed a small TV screen, playing events of the last episode. Before we arrived, this used to be Jump Mountain, where if rank C-9 and T-700 revealed covert operations and classified documents. A secret project unlocked back in the day. Something both plans in. PC said, pointing at a billboard warning people of Project Zen, which in the episode, was a planned testing room for quarantine due to a virus outbreak in the city. The screen flipped to the inside of an abandoned lab, as T-999 ripped the doors open while PC and C-12 step in. Their voices at this point have a dense echo. This was one of their laboratories abandoned for testing. PC said as he and the others navigated. As they pushed through and entered the narrow laboratory, they noticed mutated cyborgs and humans. Why are these cyborgs mutated? T-999 asked PC. This is what happens when Project Zen exposes the raw nerves of the cyborgs. I think this is what happened to the old heroes of Robotronical. PC concluded. Suddenly, there was a groaning sound. C-12 warned. PC shouted. As the three ran through, the laboratory's supports started snapping and bending. As the three jumped off, the last support snapped as the laboratory fell backwards. Loud ear rate level clattering and crashing was heard. All three stared at the remains. That was way too close. PC exhaled. C-12 said. Crowbot. Crowbot. A muffled robotic female voice was heard. PC picked up the source. It was a tablet. The screen was cracked and it seemed bent, but PC had an idea. Cover me guys. Xenia is overrun with mutated cyborgs. I'm gonna hack the playback on this tablet and get the results. C-12 and T-999 nodded as they back into PC and cover him. As PC started hacking, snarling and electronic growling was heard as a montage was shown. C-12 pulled out landmines and slid them under the cybernetic mutants before detonating them. T-999 has an eye laser and learned pinpoint accuracy mix of Kung Fu and Taekwondo. The montage ended with a guttural rip as C-12 ripped two of the cyborg mutants' heads off and crushed them. The episode ended on a to-be-continued banner, with the three silhouette shadows staring at another facility in the snow. A voiceover of PC was heard saying, We've got a hideout here. Let's uncover the playback. Hopefully. Here was more information I found out about Robotronical. 
There were plans of 12 episodes and counted as season 1, but 5 of the 12 episodes were released due to budget cuts and restrictive animation studios. What made the production worse was thinking of stories, monsters, and concept art for each episode which made it equally worse. Paramount Pictures, Legendary Pictures, DreamWorks, Warner Brothers, hell, even DC didn't want to help distribute the TD series due to it being too risque or not interested in the project. There were even index of pages containing the archived episodes of Robotronicle, all of which are gone and without a trace. The next episode is gonna be one of the first ever old episodes that was made just after the last series finished with episode 5. Be prepared people. The cybernetic hellscape keeps on getting deeper, 